Listen, good morning to you. God is so good. Keep on your camera. Uh, Numbers chapter 32 and verse 6 says, And Moses said unto the children of God, and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? Uh, but this is the verse I want. Numbers 32 verse 23. But if you will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sins will find you out. Keep on your camera. You know how many children, when the teacher is doing Zoom teaching, you know how many children get an A? But those same children, when they go back to school and face to face, the same work the teacher is giving and they don't understand what is happening there. Well, I'm a teacher myself. What is happening there is that parents assisted them and sometimes you know when you're doing the oral on zoom and a child is giving the correct answer yeah all the time the camera sometimes is off and a parent is assisting the child with the answers then you know how many children uh, they're turning off the camera and while the teacher is teaching they playing game on another device. Oh, you didn't know that? Well, I'll tell you some of the tricks. But forget them children. By the way, them teachers have it tough, eh? To teach on Zoom, it, it, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Because now you have like 25 children and each of them on a device. If it was in the classroom, right? you know how many times I hear my wife say, oh, mute your mic, do this. Uh, not your turn to talk, what not back and forth and I'm saying to myself Charles if she was face to face with these children just one look quiets them but on zoom you talk till you host to control them in terms of giving instruction but let me switch something you know we as adults a lot of times we are just like those children listen I've seen meetings where uh, you may have 20 people at the meeting but everybody turn off the camera and you don't know what the people are doing while the meeting is going on now let me just stick in here that some people have a right to turn off the camera because uh, sometimes where they live in where they domicile uh, it is not of such that they want other people to see. That is all right, that is all right. Not everybody fortunate to have a separate room to do that. And not everybody is them alone in the house. You have children and whatnot. Like, like, um, like uh, a friend of mine told me of a single parent who has five children, five different devices, five different grades. And so when teaching going on, listen man, each child got to find a corner some way, right? So we understand all of that. But let me come back to adults. You must keep your camera on. I brought that to bear to tell us that many times when a person says that they are working at home, they must make sure that they are giving an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. I called a friend a night close to 11 and when we were chatting, he said, but he put on his camera, he said, watch, he said, all of this is papers, I got to complete this kind of work and calculation. And I know I'm not finishing before two o'clock, but that is the gist of working from home. So I am saying that we must understand that we are always in the radar or in the camera view of God. And as Christians, we need to set the right example and make sure that we give an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Uh, listen, I reflect, when I say keep your camera on, I reflect on part of Genesis chapter 39 and verse 9. He said, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? In other words, uh, Joseph was conscious of the fact that God's camera 
was pointing to him and he meant that he would not sin because God's camera is pointing on him. Uh, when we talk about his eye is on the sparrow, we say it in the sense of God watching to protect us and that is true. Uh, but we must also remember uh, that God watching over us uh, is uh, making sure that he, God, wants to encourage you uh, to do your best in terms of knowing that his camera is on. So even though nobody looking, and maybe you're working from home, you must be willing to set the right example and give an honest day's work. Sometimes, sometimes, the children who are looking at us, they are picking up certain vices from us. Let us turn that around and let us make sure they pick up certain virtues from us as we live daily as if we are on camera and thou God sees me. God and Father, thank you so much for your goodness towards us. Thanks for your blessings. Help somebody today to understand that they can manage their time well and make sure that they do all in their power to give an honest day's work for an honest day's pay so that their conscience can be settled. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless you. I will